Today we're going to go through an overview of Construction Clock, how you can use it and how it can benefit your company. Let's get into it. So right off the bat, you need to set up your company. You'll be prompted to put in your company name, your name, as well as various company details. Finally, you'll be asked to put in your phone number. You'll be sent a verification code, and once you enter that, you'll be set to go. After signing in, you'll be prompted to make a project and then be led to the project screen. Here you'll be able to see all the projects you've worked or are working on. You can filter them by start and end dates or by using the search bar at the top of the screen. You can also switch to map view to see the projects in their geographical locations. Swiping right on a project will give you the options to edit a project or pin it to the top of the list. Swiping left will allow you to mark the project as complete, archive the project, or delete it. To add another project, simply tap the plus button at the top corner of your screen. When selecting a location, you can either search for an address or manually moving the pin, which is especially useful if you're working in a remote location that hasn't been updated on maps. Once you have that selected, you can adjust the project radius, add a name, and voila, ready for your employees to clock into. Speaking of employees, let's explore how you get your workers added. Head on over to the Employees tab, tap the plus button, and tap Invite Employee. You'll be brought to your Contacts page, and you'll be able to select people to invite from there. Once you have your employee on board, you can tap on them to bring up their profile, which will allow you to enter in their hourly wage, providing you with work logs that will easily tell you the amounts to pay your employees, and adjust what permissions they have access to. This will include things like adding and managing projects, work log access, and so on. You can also organize your employees into crews by hitting the Create Crew button, giving it a name, and selecting the employees to add. You can remove an employee from one of these by swiping left on them. Next up is the Profile tab. Here we have a variety of settings and tools at your disposal to make your experience with time tracking even easier. You can modify company-wide details, such as unpaid breaks, which gets deducted from your daily hours, as well as travel time, which will calculate the amount of time an employee travels from one job site to another to help give you more accurate work logs. And you can modify personal settings for clocking in and out. This process is by default very simple. Just go into the project you're working on and tap start, and then tap stop when you're done. That being said, humans are flawed and your employees very well might forget to clock in or out or take some creative liberties when they finally remember. While you can always edit these times after they've been tracked, it would obviously be better if you could just avoid that hassle altogether. We have a variety of ways to help with this, but most prominently, we have the auto clock in and out feature. When you reach or leave a project location, it will automatically clock you in and out. So you never even have to open the app with it enabled. Now, if you'd rather just be reminded to do it yourself, you can enable the time reminder, which will send a push notification reminding you to clock in and out at the desired time. You can also enable the location reminder, which will send a notification when you arrive or leave the project. Now, with all of the location functionalities of the app, it will require location access, which you will request for when you first open the app. But don't worry, the app does not keep track of where you've been. It only tracks when you leave and enter a job site, so you don't have to worry about every trip for coffee being recorded. Set your mind at ease. The last section we have to go over is the work log tab. In this area, you can find the recorded hours and its details of any specific employee and export it as a document. So now all you need to do is shoot this off to your bookkeeper to run payroll. If you want to get a project report rather than an employee work log, you can do so by navigating to the Projects tab, selecting the project you want to export, and tapping the Export button at the corner of your screen. This document will show the total time spent on the project, date it started and completed, as well as details of each employee that worked on it, including the total labor cost of the project to share with whoever, however you want. Construction Clock is available to download on iOS and Android, and you can try the app free for 14 days. You can always reach out to us if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.